Brian, uh, two notable uh, absentees from practice today, Nuhu and uh, Raul. Uh, would you mind sharing a little light on, on uh, their mission from practice? And, uh, and an, does this have an, to do anything a, with discipline? From, uh, it's an internal yeah. matter, It'll be an ongoing process. I'll give you more information later in the week. Uh, so does this mean that, is it just today? Is it uh, I'll let you know later in the week. Uh, Gio Paolo also wasn't out here. I'm guessing it's different, but is there what's going on with his... He's, on a, he's on a separate program. And is he... I mean, is a... Is, he looked like he had a great game, I guess. Let me put it this way. He had a great game on Saturday. Gio Paulo had a good game. No injury. Going back to Raul... Uh, uh, great that, goal. That, that, great header. Absolutely. When it comes to that, the gesture that, that he made uh, during that celebration, what do you think took the player to make that decision? Well, he's, un he's unhappy he wasn't playing. Is it, that not an attitude that you want from your players, especially your star players? Uh, or is that something that's, that's more of a control thing for, for the uh, organization uh, towards the player itself? Raul, Raul can make those expressions. I'm a big boy, I can take those. So the, the, the expression was then directed at you, correct? I don't know. You'd have to ask Raul. Will you guys make Raul available for that conversation? Not sure. You've had a, a six-year relationship with Raul, with Nico, even longer. Does it concern you that they're, like when Nico left, there was some issues and you know he made those available and open and now Raul is expressing himself in a certain way about it? Look. I can go back as far as the USL days when guys retire or it's coming to the end of their career, Zach Scott, uh, he was you know, part of the 2016 group. Uh, you go to Clint, you go to Will Bruin, you go to Freddie Montero, you go through Nico, you go through Roman Torres, you go through Raul, it's not easy. They are human beings, they're not perfect. And neither am I. And there's going to be sometimes a little bit of disagreement. And we're going to work through those disagreements and we're going to be happy with the team and focus on this year. That's what's most important. Do you feel that Raul's attitude has become a, a point of contention within the club and, and his attitude towards uh, leadership? Do you, do you feel he's that? Been, he's been really good this year. So the game is soft. Uh, those 16 minutes when you watch the film, what stood out about what was working? Determined this? team. Yeah. Raise the energy level. Three great goals, starting with Raul's great goal. Jordan's great header. Albert's two assists. The kid going down, getting kicked really bad in his calf. It wasn't his ankle. I thought it was his ankle. Uh, gutting it out, being a tough kid, being able to persevere. Jordan Morris finishing a one-on-one -on -one chance. It wasn't easy. He had guys catching him. So, great team performance. The tactics in those 16 minutes, is it something that you can work to replicate over the course of 90? Uh, well, the tactics were same way we want to play all the time. Jordan just moved over to the right. Raul was in number nine. Alva was there. Uh, tactics were the same. Jordan's goal, Jordan's goal, as you mentioned, and you give him a lot of credit, we were able to see that explosion towards the end of the finishing. Is that something that, that, you, that really gives you a lot of hope for the rest of the season? Sure. Look, Jordan's done that for us many times. He's also missed a few. He's always missed a few. But, you know, the other night was his night. He scored two really good goals. He helped the team win. He's going to be the first one to tell you that takes a good quarter kick delivery from Albert. He's going to tell you that that pass from Obed is great. That much I can guarantee you. In the past, you had mentioned that you had played Wisowski on the wing. Didn't quite work. You ended up playing a 4 for 2 In this one, uh, what was your, 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 your thoughts on his play at the wing? It was, it was within, it was good. Look, is he a winger? No, but we had him in that pocket out wide, the rotation, you know, Christian having a three game week, playing heavy minutes, couldn't get up and down the line all the time. Although, you know, the way the game played out, Dallas, you know, we were able to extend our possessions in their half of the field. So we wanted Masoski to kind of replicate what Paul Rothrock did, which was when we got the ball, when we 
picked up the ball here. I needed him to sprint. Leo Chu was fresh. I needed him to sprint. And Jordan had 30 minutes less than everybody else. And I wanted him to stretch the field early so that we could find our rhythm in midfield. And for Jordan, being able to have the three starts in the eight days, play all the way there in the third, what does it say about his ability and his stamina? That's been point? coming. Yeah. It's been coming. He, he wasn't a, he, he will tell you that his frustration stemmed from back in the day, they wouldn't let him play three games in a week. So he's built his durability and done a good job, and we have confidence that in three game weeks he can perform. Is that durability and stamina something that he wanted to push? You guys are both. He was always pushing me to give him more minutes. Obed uh, has had these games where he has moments that all of a sudden are like almost like light bulb moments of like, oh, I didn't realize he had that in him. This, like, this felt like one of those moments where he, you know, like you said, he, he gets hurt, he stays on the field, and then he hits, you know, a pass that, you know, probably goes down as a as a, an absolutely spectacular pass there. Uh, do you see this this steady improvement and this leveling up, and, and what do you think his ceiling is? I see it because we see it every day at training. It wasn't just that pass. I thought the kid was the best player on the field. That's my opinion. That's my personal opinion. Uh, he was great in many facets of the game. His tactical awareness, his tactical understanding, his technical piece. He was goal dangerous at times. Uh, did a lot of work. His numbers, physical numbers were super high. But we've seen that coming. We, we've seen that. We've been lucky to have him since he you know, came from Alaska for the academy. Uh, you know, I've seen it coming, and he's got a really high ceiling. That I can't answer because who knows where he's going to end up, but super high ceiling. And how, how have you seen the partnership with Jao Paulo sort of evolve? It seems, I know for a long time you guys have felt like they were really well paired. Uh, and so does it, it seems like in a game like that, that was a... So was Josh. I mean, Josh was good with JP. I think that's testament to JP. You like having a you know, senior player with a younger player, if possible. Now, the two young kids did play together, and we won a couple games when JP was out. So it's a work in progress, as always, but having JP, a senior guy, a more experience is always helpful. It was a pleasure that Lovega and Alex were down out there. Seemed to be in full training. Yeah, a bit. full training, Nico. <laughs> Both of them. So is Alex Pass or beyond the protocol? He's got to still do the heading portion, but I have no doubt that he will be available, and I have no doubt that De La Vega is going to be available. And not that Bradelio? Uh, that is not good news. Uh, Bradelio re-injured his hamstring in a different spot, and uh, it's not a good one. I'll give you a further update when I get the final medical terminology or Mac and give it to you on back or Kevin, but it's not a good one. Was that in training or in the game? In that game. In the game. Not a good one. Uh, Last couple. Going back to that game, uh, th there was a there was an interchange between Jordan and Raul in which you know they're maybe arguing about something in regard to the delay of the the, <laughs> the, the goalkeeper. Uh, do you have any concerns that some of the issues that we've seen could stem into the group and maybe break no. it down into factions no. or things of that nature? No. Raul wanted Jordan to pick the ball and put it on the spot for the goal kick. So you, it sounds like that's the kind of stuff, you have no problem with that stuff, where guys no. are getting on each other and I would actually encouraging rather, them. I would actually rather those guys solve their issues rather than me having to do it.